Hey guys, it's Udi. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can load your own samples into native instrument Straylight. Now, if you don't know, Straylight is a very interesting instrument. It has two layers. One of them is granular sampler and the other is just a simple sampler, but you can actually load your own samples and create your own sounds. Now, of course, before that, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'm uploading new videos all the time. Like this video and Comment below the video if you have any questions or anything at all, and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Let's get started. This is Straylight. It's a contact library. It is based on two layers. We have grain and we have sample. The grain is a granular synthesizer or granular sampler. The sample is a basic sampler and in this video I'm going to show you how you can drag and drop your own samples but I'm going to use the expansions from Native Instruments uh, for the demonstration. You can just drag and drop any sample. So what we have here is the perform view. This is the main view where we have the samples. We can select different samples for each of the layers and we also have an XY pad and on the bottom we have some macros. Now the grain view will give us the grain or the granular sampler where we have some controls like grains, cursor ranges, then tuning amp and the envelope and for the sampler we have just the basic controls. We have pitch start position, we have filter with different filter types like low pass, high pass, band pass and so on, even vowel and phaser, so very nice very comprehensive. Then we have filter modulation envelope and we have the amp envelope. On the bottom we have three views. We have the send effects. This is uh, where we have the delay and the reverb sends and you can send the grains or the sample to each of them and we'll play with that. Then we have some macro assignments and modulation. So let's now jump straight to loading our own samples. What I have here right now, this is the init preset. It means that uh, it's just the basic settings with just minimal um, things uh, set up here. So we have the uh, grain already loaded and the sample. Let's go over to the sample. I'm gonna just listen to that. All right, grand piano. And what I'll do now is I'll head over to the one shots here in complete control. Just click that and I have a lot of expansions and let's try and use any of them and see how it works with Straylight. So I'm going to uh, just select this one here and we can audition the samples. Just click this uh, um, speaker and we can audition this. Very nice. So I'm going to just drag and drop this is the whole story here. Cool. Let's try something else. So I can select chord. Okay, this one. And we can add some reverb, for example. So I'm going to turn on the reverb. And I'm going to go here. And we can even add some delay. And let's try something else. Let's try glitch. Right, and this is great for sound effects and anything uh, like that. Let's try another expansion just for fun. So I'm going to click this and let's just select Indigo Dust here and again try chords.
very nice and then let's try piano or keys cool let's try another one so I'm going up here let's see what we have in arcane attic and going to addition let's go for vocals oh this is nice Cool, let's go for chords. And this is pretty much it. So if you want to learn more about Straylight, head over to my channel and check the complete tutorial. And if you have any questions or anything at all, just leave comments below this video. I'll be happy to answer. And if there's anything you want to see from complete control, from uh, complete here, let me know and we'll do a video on that. So I have everything that is in, uh, in complete and I'll be happy to, uh, to do something. So just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. And of course, still, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video.